Hello again out there, here's another request, it's another classic, Enter Sandman by Metallica. We start out the drums right at the very beginning of the song, playing hi-hats on beats 2 and beat 4, with a couple of little flourishes, let me play through it now. That is pretty straightforward, I'm sure you grabbed it that first time through. Moving on, we're playing down on the toms, but we have accents on the snare and crash cymbal on the off beats. So those are the ands of every beat. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. It's not every single beat, every single time, but let me play through the first four bars and show you what I mean. So that is pretty straightforward as well, but if you get stuck, just remember, count one and two and three and four and, just so you can line up exactly where those accents go. Moving on, we're back down on the toms using just the same groove, but the fourth bar is a little bit different. The next four bars, same groove, different accents at the end. In the next four bars, the groove is very similar, but we're just going to bring in a snare drum on the end of four as well. The next four bars we start building into our next section. Now we're up to the riff section where we're playing over on the hi-hats, but this same groove is what we're going to use for most of the verses as well. So grab it now. It's really straightforward. The only thing to watch is hitting that crash cymbal on the end of four, right at the end of four bars. Just that fourth bar one more time slowly. That little offbeat crash cymbal is the only tiny tricky bit in that whole section, so hopefully you can nail that and then you'll be smooth right through that and the verse as well. The next thing we need to look at is our pre-chorus, which is a half-time groove leading into our chorus. Now we're up to our chorus, which is eight bars long, and it's pretty much identical every single time we play the chorus, and even in the guitar solo as well. So I reckon that you can probably memorize these eight bars, and then you get heaps of mileage out of them right throughout the song.
After that first chorus, we hit the riff section again for just a second. It's pretty much the same as what we've already been playing with some slightly different fills. Let me play it for you. Just the fill one more time. There might be a tiny coordination challenge there if you haven't done that before, but otherwise it's pretty straightforward. Moving on, there's four more bars and then we're building up into our verse. play right back through our verse, right back through our chorus, exactly the same as we just did them. At the end of the chorus there's an extra little fill before we hit the guitar solo. From there we are into the guitar solo and here's the first four bars. And the next four bars in the guitar solo have one of the most interesting fills in the song right at the end. Just the fill one more time. That takes us into the halftime section, just like this. From there we just go straight through our 8 bars of chorus pattern but we've got the guitar solo going on over the top instead of the lyrics. After that chorus we're moving back down onto our toms really similar to the intro and the pattern goes like this. At the end of the next four bars there's an interesting fill, so I'll play that for you now. From there the lyrics come back in and our accents on the snare and crash change up just a little bit. That cool little flam kick, flam kick takes us into two times through the chorus. Halfway through the chorus, we're going to play that flam kick, flam kick fill once again to take us into the second time of the chorus. Let me play that fill for you now.
So now it's straight back into eight more bars of chorus after that fill. Right at the end of the chorus, we drop out for just a second, the riff comes back in, and then we're gonna pick it up on the snare drum and crash cymbal on the end of four like this. So this is our whole outro section. We've started out on the hi-hats. In the next bit, we're gonna play a fill back down onto our toms, and then we've got a bunch of random accents getting us right through to the end of the song. So let me play this next fill for you, going from the hats down onto the toms. through a few more bars just to round out our outro. Here's four more. Play that whole section together and you can just pick out whichever accents you feel like playing. There we go, that is my breakdown of Enter Sandman by Metallica. It's a fairly simple song to play, but it's still nice and heavy when you hit that groove, so it's great to jam along to. Have fun with it, everybody. I'll see you at the next lesson.